Welcome everyone to a brand new Leon <laughs> reacts with Josh live on stream with chat to some bullshit about rich people. Josh. Hello. You know what's fun? Making fun yeah, of rich yeah, yeah. people. Listen, I get nothing wrong with people with money. Stack all the cash in the world. The only thing is it's rich people were their only personality trait is being rich. We've yes. seen all types of people like that on this channel. But I found this little gem. I don't I think I might have mm. seen it on Graham Stephan's channel, believe it or not. It's Ooh. this YouTube channel called Channel Five. I think it's based out of the UK. They got a bunch of bullshit. Some of it's like maybe heartwarming. <laughs> I don't really care about any of that stupid shit. But there's a series called Rich kids go skint i don't know about oh. you but i don't know what the f skint means so we're gonna I look that either. up on google having little or no money available oh wait so it's about poor people then no i think it's like one of these oh you have all this money try to survive a day on a hundred dollars oh. bullshit to right? be a like, normal yeah hey being. try to be a <laughs> peasant like everyone watching this who should we do dude been let's try to on. find someone super f obnoxious <laughs> I mean, every single one is gonna fit that bill i spend more on petrol that? than you do on food this girl sounds very oh, insufferable I love it. you want to rip go. it I yeah, dude, because you know she has a BMW. And yeah, BMWs that's, that's, are like <laughs> mid-tier luxury car, honestly. I, it's are, not like the Tesla f Model S Plaid, okay? Like, Well, they have some BMWs me. that are that expensive. Depends on what she yeah. has. If it's a 5 Series, not impressed. Going Skint is the daughter of a wealthy property developer and successful restaurant owner. My name is Sasha. I'm 21 years old and I live in Chiswick. Rich kid Sasha lives <sighs> in the lap of luxury in her parents' palatial home. Uh, Six toilets, five en suites, two Six toilets. Rooms. Anything else? Anything else? <laughs> yeah, Listen. also hemorrhoids. I have hemorrhoids. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Lupus and herpes, actually. I've, I've, I've slept with a lot of dudes. Yeah. So, yeah, my life is super easy at home. Like, people wash my clothes for me, people cook for me, people clean. Like, I just, I'm not going to move out. <laughs> so, that was her explaining why she's not going to move out because people cook and clean for her at her parents' yeah, house. She's, she's like, like <laughs> I already have a fiance. We both live in the basement, which is bigger than five of your houses combined. <laughs> yeah, it's a 5,000 square yeah. foot basement. We have a, a and <laughs> our second basement is dedicated to just handbags and shoes and sex toys <laughs> mainly sex toys yes and the third basement is where Steinem yeah handbags. the third basement <laughs> is where we kidnap poor people and lock them up and make them fight each other for our amusement this is my favorite place in the house of course it's it is my wardrobe. 32 and a half thousand pounds of bags literally just here oh that's cute no, you ever seen jeffree star's closet no. pussy <laughs> 32 and a half thousand pounds. It's like 50,000 USD. Ab uh, Jeffrey Star spends that on like a bag. He's I thought also this video was going to impress me, Leon. Yeah. What the fuck, man? He's <laughs> also maybe like a psychopathic predator, but his handbag collection, ridiculous. He's the real life Batman. Yeah, he's, he's the real life Batman, bro. He, he's like the real life Batman Joker combined, kind of. Like it's never about like the look of the bag or why they like it. Like anytime you watch these videos where it's like people doing their tours, it's you know, these people that have no personality other than their money. The only thing they know how to do is just tell you how expensive their things expensive are. Shit is. Yeah. yeah. It's not like, oh, I love this bag because of this inseam and it looks really nice and the style fits with this. It's like, no, this bag was 6,000. This bag was 5,000. Maybe that's the producers egging them on to do that. I don't know. My favorite thing, this is unrelated to this video, but you know that girl, Nico Lull, who like became famous from doing that Bernie Sanders, like TikTok meme. Her whole bit is that she got famous for like being a Bernie supporter meme on TikTok. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden she put out this video like my $2 million apartment tour. <laughs> I saw that. Ah! I saw that Let's tweet. Let's fucking was, go. Yeah. And didn't she tweet something out like a year ago or just before that was like eat the rich or something? Yes. Like, yeah. That was the whole thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, eat the rich until you get rich. And then it's all so of a sudden. Then look at my fucking drip. Then let's, uh, if the socialist grift is your thing, yeah. that's fine. We all know a lot of socialists that like that's their thing and they play the part, but they're secretly like super rich and they're really right. Capitalists just using the socialist grift to make a bunch of money. That's fine if that's your bit, but like just do an apartment tour. Don't put a monetary value in the title, you yeah. fucking dumb idiot. To make more money, too, because the only reason you're putting $2 million is to get better fucking ads. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to try to <laughs> clickbait people with the monetary value in something when your entire fucking ethos and the reason you get popular is like, hey, let's spread the wealth around and make everybody fucking right. poor and rich at the same time or whatever the fuck socialists want to <laughs> do. Poor and rich at the same time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we're about close to the minute mark. Woo! Chat soon we'll get there. This martini is flowing good right now. We Let's be done with this video some. by 2 a.m. EST. I only got one olive. <laughs>
have left, baby. It's about to get fucking nasty in here. From a very young age, Sasha's always been a right old bag lady. Mm. This was my first mm. design. A right bag. old bag lady. Bag. I think it was like the English accents are the best. A right old bag lady. Half Fuck thousand? does that even mean? <laughs> as well as being a self-confessed shopaholic, this rich kid's also a posh petrol head. There you go. So my favorite Petrohead. thing in the whole world would be my car. It's a BMW M2. You can only go to petrol stations that have the highest octane of fuel, and it costs me roughly 65 to 70 pounds every other day. Is she flexing the fact that she uses premium gas yeah, that's right now? not that much of a flex. Are you flexing how much your fucking gas tank costs to fill right now? Like, fucking kidding me. <laughs> Man, are they fucking, mic. are they hitting this one out of the park? This girl fucking sucks. Again, like, she's probably getting leading questions from the producers. Like, they're Certainly. cutting out every part where they're like, tell us how much it costs to fill your gas tank. How, what kind of gas do you use? Yeah, they're, no, they're, it's not like they just sat her in front of a camera and said, okay, go. They're, they're doing go. her dirty, but she doesn't even know. Because rich people like this, right? It's like their entire life is about vanity. So it's like, oh my God, I'm going to be on like Channel right. 5 local news in Berkshire or whatever. I'm just coming up with a <laughs> random so Engl England town that I, I don't even know if that exists. I think it does. When rich kids go skins. We literally just made it to the intro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We need to shut Hi. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm Sasha. I'm Juanita. It's a plan. She doesn't have actual friends. Oh, they actually no, just met no, for the they, first they time. No, they just met yeah. each other. Oh, yeah, my bad. That was close. close. I thought they were really trying to pull the wool over her eyes there for oh, a second. Oh, not today. Not today, Isis. Let's go. So, this is the front room area. It's really nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Is she apartment shopping? What's she no, doing? This is sort of the kitchen area. Yeah. Mine's I think so. Like three or four times <laughs> oh my God. so do you like have maids and stuff or do you cook for no, this is where she's um, living i, I think out pretty temporarily much i don't use my kitchen <laughs> at all <laughs> don't use it can you cook no. <laughs> of course not. Can you cook? I'm oh, sorry. Have you ever met a rich person? Of course they can't. My Do you God. have a brain inside your head? Do you not hear? I have three fucking chefs around the, the clock. fucking question is that. How could you possibly find the time to learn how to cook when you're busy telling people how much your goddamn designer handbags cost? I have a fucking Impossibility. cheesecake factory inside of my house. Okay? <laughs> the whole damn yeah. restaurant. <laughs> we have 95 chefs living in the fucking <laughs> chef quarters. This has all got off to a swimming start. Time for the rich kid to meet the family. <laughs> oh, living with a family. She has to live with fucking peasants, dude. That's terrible. Oh the poor thing. The funny thing is, she's shown her the house, and like this looks like a house a relatively well-off person would live in too. Like, put this girl on a fucking crack den, dude. Let's show yeah, her. Some, yeah, let's show her some nice, real. Right? Let's put this bitch on the streets of San Francisco right now, which yeah, if you didn't know is <laughs> is not fucking pretty. San Francisco shit the bed in the last eighteen months. <laughs> so, Sasha, these are the boys. This Hi. is Kai. This is Riley. Say hello to Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the mother then of the For family? Someone like Sasha, I who think normally so. gets up in the afternoon, sharing a house with three kids could come as a shock. So this will be where you'll be staying. I hope it's comfy. There's always the floor if it's not. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, in case the couch isn't comfortable enough, Sasha can can sleep on the... Shut the fuck up. Stupid narration. Oh. I'm going to slap that bitch right in the teeth until her oh, dentures shit. fall out. The... Dentures? You... Oh, she's that old. <laughs> or is that a knock on English people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Get straight teeth, you UK fucks! Sorry, guys, but it's true. I mean, the it's, I mean, it's a stereotype, but come on. Come on. <laughs> For someone used to the best of everything, what does the rich kid make of Juanita's efforts to add some luxury to her home? Ooh. Yeah, the house does look really bougie. <laughs> bougie on a budget. <laughs> the interior of the house was an absolute shock to me. Okay. <laughs> you can tell that she has like luxury what? taste and like expensive taste, but obviously she can't. Oh, with the wire with the management, bro. This, like, oh. I don't give a shit, but that, that is sinful. That right there put Jesus on the cross. I can't even fucking look at that. Like you have two fat fucking pillars to hide all the wires and this is what we're dealing with? Chat, we're putting Leon to the test right now. Okay. Show us your cable management. On my desk? Show us. On, yeah, uh, with B cam. And listen, it's not. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't get a preface. <sighs> shit, you gotta go. You gotta Actually, no. You know what? Show. Fuck you. It's it's good. Hold on, hold on. All right, here B we go. Up. Exposed. Up. Looking forward here. Controller, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Cloud lifter for my mic. Okay. It's a it's a yep. clean gain. Okay. These I could pin up, oh. and I I had them pinned up, but I just no. had to move everything. Okay. Cotton 4K. 
Excuse me. Excuse. This show isn't bad. Under. Show me under. Dog. It, okay, wait for it. Okay, yeah. this is where it gets good. This is where it gets good. <laughs> I have, I have, my power bricks taped to the wall. Oh, taped to the all wall. Right, so right. if you're looking over here, okay, uh -huh. nothing on the floor. Nice uh -huh. PC tower. Nice PC tower. Okay, floor clean as a whistle, minus this one little whoop de whoop. Oh, to be called out like that unexpectedly. I uh -huh. feel like that's easy 9 out of 10. Compared to this it. fucking yeah. bitch in the video with the <laughs> wires hanging behind the two pillars, you think you're bougie with the all white fucking marble, white fucking <laughs> pillar, white wallpaper bullshit? We're not even shitting on the rich person anymore. We're not <laughs> shitting on the regular person. Yeah, and but you tried to shit on me in my own goddamn video. <laughs> all right, let's get back to shitting on poor people. <laughs> How it sort of works is I get like an 800 pound budget a month. A month. A month. So I live on literally like 200 pound a week. Food shopping budget, which is about 60 pounds a week. And I spend about 40 pound a week petrol. Then 20 pounds gas, 20 pounds electricity. It's not ideal, but it is what it is. I'm sorry, she lives off of 800 pound a month in that place? 800 pounds is what, $1,200 maybe? No, that's not. That's not. Eight, uh, that's, no, no, that's not. That's not. It's eight hundred two USD. <laughs> okay. Eleven hundred dollars per month. I'm sure the housing is like a a government housing. I, it's it's like going to be Section know. Eight or something subsidized yeah. housing because eleven hundred dollars a month would pay for maybe half of that rent alone for an apartment anywhere near where we live out here. What's your sort of weekly, monthly budget? You don't want to know. Um, I don't have a set budget every week, but my petrol alone is more than a weekly budget, so I spend like four hundred pounds on petrol a week. A week. Where How do you fuck like, like I said, where do you live? That's what I said earlier. You driving one hundred and fifty miles to fucking Gucci every day? Like I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Four. You spend six hundred dollars a week on gas. What the fuck are we? What are we watching right now? It, it makes it makes no sense. Even if you filled it, this is probably what That's it is. What she God. probably just never shuts her car off. She leaves it running because the the, the <laughs> amount the of the amount of time it takes to turn the car on is just a waste when you could just leave it running at all times and never have to shut it off. I don't get it. We're <laughs> missing something here. I can go to a restaurant and spend like three hundred pound on one meal. Like, so she's smiling, but she's probably like, this bitch fucking sucks, right? I'm so glad you're sleeping on my couch, bitch. Clean my fucking toilets, too, Cinderella. So do you have to, like, work for anything in terms of, like, earning? <laughs> no. Negative. Just anything you want. Anything I want, I just get it. I just do what makes me happy, and because the money's there, I can do it. You, know? you potentially, in one blow dry, can feed my kids for the week. Wow. She's like, yeah. Don't give a shit, fucking peasant. <laughs> wow, <laughs> hair flip. I didn't have a meal because I only had enough to feed the kids and they didn't know that. I gave them their food, they sat down, they're like, you're not sitting down to eat? I said, oh no, I'm not hungry. I'm I don't want them to worry, and, you know, to just hear your petrol budget. That still just blows my mind. Is she fake crying? Come on, she doesn't have a soul. She, right? she's, she's like crying. Saying, I'm not going to change, but goddamn, that's sad. Yeah, 100% <laughs> she's crying because she misses her fucking home already. Yeah, she's she's like, God, this there's there's not a single sucks. ounce of empathy in those tears. It's 100% get me out of this fucking shack right now. For Sasha, the chat has been a sobering start to her experience living skinned. Living skinned. So this must have been the whole narrative by the production crew all along. It's like, let's yeah, make this girl as unlikable as possible. And then, holy shit, come later, she realizes that she's privileged and she cries and has this right. huge realization. And we're amazing producers on this fucking shit network television reality show about rich people going skin they're not actually going skin she's not staying with them she's literally <laughs> she's been there for like for an she's hour. been there for like 45 minutes <laughs> i'm just saying they're like rich people going skin it's like no they're not All actually right. gonna do it i have an idea for a show get this we take ultra wealthy people we make mm -hmm. them mingle with the poor yeah. for like 30 minutes what okay. do you guys think? Love <laughs> it. they're barely gonna be able to handle that 30 minutes they're gonna fucking explode i brought you to one more place it's where I come most Sundays. Um, Cemetery. My dad's here. hundred percent. I'll tell you a bit more about it. When Juanita's father sadly passed away, all the emotional and financial support he provided disappeared overnight. Get them tears yeah, ready, you rich bitch. And after that, we lost everything. He didn't sort out a sufficient will before he died. Oh. So he lost everything. 
Oh. It doesn't just disappear. Like when you say you lost everything, do you mean like it went to another sibling and not you? Or like what? Hold yeah. on, hold on. <laughs> like you don't you don't just it doesn't just go to the government with you like Maybe your wills dog the shit. UK, the UK gov will take it if they own money. He was probably like a fucking gambling shark and was rich, oh, but oh, you know, it was like yeah, money. And it was like dodging taxes for thirty years or something, so they just took everything. Classic fucking skint. <laughs> So I have to start from scratch. I got Why are you whispering to me right now? We're outside. I can barely hear you. There's a fucking construction site right nearby. Please just use your words. So depressed and so low. I fucking love so depressed memes. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, play one real quick? I'm not sure I do. Oh, so depressed. <laughs> but Juanita wants to impress on her how it could all be lost in the blink of an eye, like it was for her. Yeah, no, her dad's got his will sorted out. She's fine. Yeah, he, <laughs> she's, she's got fine. She's got a two and a half billion dollar trust fund, never going anywhere. She's going to be her fine. Kids, kids, kids are fine. We're a couple, she's of, a couple of eye drop tears for the camera shot, and we're back to pretending like I give a shit about this poor person. <laughs> as difficult as it was going to the graveyard with Juanita, I really appreciate her showing me her life and what she has to go through and just like the struggles in life that she's been through. This got me so depressed and so low. Fucking. Uh, ah! I'll never get sick of that. And I just want you to just be just mindful, okay? And tell your parents a bit more how much you love them. Yeah. Because I can only see it to a grave. I've never done that before. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell your parents how much you love them. He's actually still alive. They were him alive. Because <laughs> they didn't sort out as well. It's fucking right. And what are you, why are you talking like that? We're not shitting on the rich girl anymore. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. She's just something how that she wants me. Her telling me about her dad and showing me everything just like hit a bit close to home. <laughs> well, oh, did it? Really, though? <laughs> that was honestly better than I thought it was going to be. I had a good time with that one. And this was fun, Josh. Thanks for joining me down this, <sighs> this valley, this soiree into the life of just a rich girl going skint, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and by going skint, they mean having an hour-long conversation with someone who isn't rich. Enlightening, really. It really was enlightening. <laughs> having to fraternize with a not rich person for one hour. Did she make it? Verdict's out. I don't know. They kind of ended mm. a little bit early. She's probably going to go throw up for a fucking couple hours before she <laughs> takes her uh, Uber X back home. By Uber X, I mean she has a butler that drives her around in a fucking Cadillac Escalade, mm. probably. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and buy merch at shop.leonlush.com.